Hey everyone! Before we dive in, just a quick reminder that this video is not medical advice. I'm just sharing my personal journey with my mental health, weight loss, and carnivore diet and fasting. So uh, let's get started! First off, for those following my weight loss journey, I'm currently at 115 kilograms. Two months ago, I was uh, 131 kilogram. I'm a bit behind my target of 80 kilograms by September. I know that's fast, but I still want to target that weight regardless, but we'll see how it goes. So uh, to give you some context, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder type 1, also known as manic depression, back in uh, 2016 in the Philippines. The doctors there said that it was a lifelong illness with no cure. They told me I had to take the medication forever. But we all know that the mental health medications can have significant negative effects on the body, especially on metabolic health. So that was my life before. Now after discovering intermittent fasting and carnivore diet two months ago, one of the biggest changes I noticed was that my suicidal thoughts, my dark thoughts disappeared within just a few days. Gradually, I felt better. As the weeks passed, I wanted to go out more and socialize with my friends and explore the beautiful United Kingdom. So um, before all this, even after moving to the UK and reuniting with my mom about uh, three years ago, I still felt mild depression and anxiety. I often delved into philosophical thoughts about death. But now, after two months of fasting and carnivore diet, those thoughts have completely disappeared, vanished. And one main factor, I think, that contributed to this change is the feeling of being in control of my life again, you know? My weight was such a huge problem that kept me depressed and anxious and I, I tried everything from soup therapy to exercising at the gym, but nothing worked long term. I was miserable. I tried soup therapy where I ate soup three times a day. I did lose some weight. But I, all was, I was always so hungry because I wasn't fasting. I wasn't training my body and mind to eat less frequently. Then I tried exercising and going to the gym. And oh my god, that almost destroyed me. It demoralized me a lot. I thought to myself, why is it so easy to gain weight but so hard to lose it? And I hated it. I felt miserable and defeated. There had to be another way. There had to be another way. Then about two to three months ago, I watched Dr. Jason Fung and I realized I could actually do this. You know, after just a few days, my anxiety, my depression and dark thoughts began to fade and I became more energetic. Dr. Fung's insights on intermittent fasting and the metabolic benefits were eye-opening for me. He explained how fasting could help the insulin with insulin resistance, reduce inflammation, and even improve brain health. Fasting and the carnivore diet have been the easiest for me, for me, yet most powerful tools that I could do with my bare hands, with my mind, and everything in between, if I had known them earlier, I could have improved my mental health much sooner. It seems my mental health improves when my metabolic health improves. This aligns with what the emerging field of metabolic psychiatry is promoting. Metabolic psychiatry looks at how diet and metabolism affect mental health. And there's growing evidence, you know, that improving mental metabolic health can improve mental health conditions. With the right diet and fasting to induce ketosis, my body undergoes positive changes, including the healing of my mental faculties. 
Ketosis is a state where your body uses fat as its primary fuel instead of carbohydrates. This can have numerous benefits including reduced inflammation, improved brain function. When your body is in ketosis, it produces ketones, which are a more efficient and stable energy source for your brain compared to glucose. This can lead to clearer thinking, better mood stability, and reduced symptoms of depression and anxiety. So I have a session with my psychiatrist in August, and my plan is to reduce my medication under his guidance to prevent, you know, withdrawal. So, so far, my injection has been reduced from 150 mg to 100 mg, but not because of this mission or this goal of mine, but it's because of my heart health. But now I want to focus more on the heart and the losing weight and the, you know, this metabolic psychiatry thing. So now, you know, so far, so far, after, even after the reduction of my medicine from 150 mg to 100 mg, I've been feeling fine, even better, actually. It's as if my metabolism is improving, you know. It's crucial to reduce medication slowly, though, and under medical supervision to avoid withdrawal symptoms and ensure my mental health remains stable. So I know that for a fact. The issue with my medication is that it seems to dull my brain functions, making me forgetful over the past seven years. But hopefully, the carnivore diet and fasting can help sharpen my mental faculties as I eventually wean off the medication. And sometimes, I don't know, for those who experience or have mental health medications, I don't know if you experience this, but you know, you have those sometimes brain fogs where you just have fogs in your brain you know you don't you don't think clearly and it dulls the mind and sometimes i have those and i started having them when i had the medication so i really really want that part of my mental health journey to be utterly destroyed or utterly cured for that matter because i want my mental health to be sharper you know, and, you know, just to promote critical thinking on my part. And also to be more aware of my surroundings, of myself, of my mom, my loved ones, you know. And not just drift into the ocean and just drift into the clouds. You know, I don't like that as much as before. You know, now I, I'd want to promote, you know, actively thinking and actively solving problems in my life and bit by bit gradually solving the problems that knock on my door. So because of that, I've noticed improvements in my memory and cognitive function since starting the diet and fasting, but I could still feel that the medicine is holding me back. You know, it's holding me back. And by the way, I'm not on a strict carnivore diet. Just so you know, I occasionally have some salad. I avoid broccoli because it can cause bloating. I love toge, you know, olives, steak, chicken, eggs, and fish. I might try organ liver someday since I've heard it's very healthy as well. Organ meats, you know. Organ meats are incredibly nutrient dense, as they say, providing essential vitamins and minerals that support overall health. For example, I hear that liver is rich in vitamin A, iron, and other essential vi nutrients that are vital for brain and metabolic health. So they say you should try um, liver once a week, but not every day because, you know, I, I don't know, it may be dangerous, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> that that's just what I hear online. So I haven't delved into the literature that much yet, but I'll definitely research more on liver. But I want to try liver first once a week, as they say on uh, on several of these uh, videos, on YouTube videos. I also want to touch on the importance of staying hydrated and getting enough electrolytes while fasting. So when you're fasting, your body loses more water and electrolytes, so it's important to replenish them. I make sure I drink plenty of water and sometimes add a pinch of salt to it or sometimes add salt to my boiled eggs. 
<laughs> that sounded wrong, but you know what I mean. Uh, this helps maintain my energy and levels and prevents headaches and fatigue. So definitely when I started carnivore and fasting a few days after two months ago, I did had mild headaches, but they were gone almost instantly. I did not have symptoms or any side effects from the carnivore diet and fasting as far as i know so um another thing i've been mindful of getting enough sleep quality sleep is of course essential for mental and metabolic health since starting the carnivore diet and fasting i've found my my sleep has improved as as in my mom says that my snoring has decreased significantly you know and one more thing I wanted to add that aside from snoring, I don't have palpitations anymore. You know, like hardness of uh, difficulty of breathing. I don't have that anymore. When, because before, prior to carnivore diet and fasting, I would have sudden nighttime sleep. When I was sleeping during nighttime, I would have difficulty breathing. And now it just disappeared. I don't know, it's a miracle. <laughs> so, um, so now I fall asleep faster and I wake up feeling more refreshed and energized. Sleep is, of course, when your body repairs itself and getting enough of it can significantly impact your overall well being. So, sometimes I am still exploring this, but Sometimes I also practice mindfulness and meditation. I This is my kind of meditation, okay? This is not, you know, the typical meditation. But I bought this, um, what do you call this? Uh, disc man, you know, exclusively to just listen to music. For example, I have here La La Land. You know, just, just sit and just listen. Just, no, just... Lay down on the bed and listen to some good music. And sometimes I fall asleep. Sometimes I just, I just, you know, um, clear my mind and think of the good things that are going to happen, especially when I reach my goal of this weight loss goal and mental health goal. So, and all the things I can do, you know, the things I can take control of. Like in my career, like in on helping my mom. So those things, I because a little bit about me, I, I really like to plan things. I really like to think things through and, you know, uh, contemplate on the best course of action and how to take control of my life. I, I love thinking those things and it, it makes me happy that, you know, that I'm doing them bit by bit, slowly but surely, you know. So these practices help me stay grounded and manage stress better. Combining fasting, the carnivore diet, and mindfulness has created a holistic approach to improving my mental health. Meditation helps me stay focused. This type of music meditation, as I call it, I don't, it, traditionally it's not meditation, but for me, it kind of is because it helps, it helps me relax, you know. But it helps me stay focused and calm, and it's been a great addition to my routine. At the end of the day, you know, I'm I'm just happy, you know, to be taking control of my life again, thanks to intermittent fasting and the carnivore diet. So I'd like to thank you all for following my journey. Your comments really warm my heart and empower me to continue. If you have any advice or want to share your story, please do. I love reading your comments and replying to everyone. Thanks again, everyone. See you soon.